Hello everyone, I'm Paul, and welcome to your Legion. I guess we could say the wait is finally over, or is it? Maybe, maybe not. AMD has finally launched, after almost two years, their new version of the Radeon graphics cards. Yes, the 300 series is finally out, but unfortunately, most of it, I would honestly say, is a rebrand. We do have the PowerColor PCS Radeon R9 380 to look at though. So let's go ahead and take a quick look at the box. Of course it's a black box, it has the PowerColor name on the top of it. It's a PCS Plus of course. PowerColor has been making the PCS Plus for about three or four generations now. So that's a good thing. It is DirectX 12 capable. This happens to be the four gigabyte model. They also do make a two gigabyte model. On the back of the box, you're gonna see that it, it is made for overclocking. It does have its own PCB. It has its own heat sink. It has a lot of extras like ferrite chokes, etc. So let's look at the card itself. I'll go ahead and reach over to Irma and grab it. And this is the R9 380 from PowerColor. It's got a nice little shroud on it. I mean, it's it's an aluminum shroud, but as you can see, it's it's kind of uh, kind of small, so you can actually see the heat sink that's inside of it, which is really nice. And for all of you who really want Let's it, take a closer it look a at the PowerColor PCS Plus Radian R9 380. As you can see, the very top has a nice heat shroud of aluminum, which is black and red. In the center of that, we have two 80 millimeter fans, and you could clearly see the heat sink underneath it, which has four eight millimeter heat pipes. The front of the I.O. has two DVI ports, one HDMI, and one display port. This is 4K monitor capable. It's not 4K gaming capable, but it is 4K monitor capable. It is PCIe 3.0, and it does require two six pin power connectors. Of course, on the back, there is a backplate. So for those of you who like to have backplates on their, on their video cards, this is a plus. Let's go over some of the differences between the 285 and the 380. The 285 came with a 945 megahertz base clock, where the 380 now has a 980 megahertz base clock. Memory has been boosted from 5500 to 5900. It's still 256 bit and you're still gonna require a 500 watt power supply to uh, run it. It's also direct and take a look at the benchmarks. Are you thinking what I'm thinking? Unfortunately, partners sometimes have to go with the hand that they're dealt with. The R9 380 doesn't show much improvement over the 285 that we tested. We also tested a PowerColor 2 gig card. And the reason why I tested the PowerColor 2 gig card opposed to a 4 gig card, A, I didn't have a 4 gig card, but I also wanted to check out if there was gonna be any difference with, with the memory in it. Remember, we have four gigs of memory in this 380. In some games, it did show like in Thief 
and in Tomb Raider, we showed a nice boost in performance. But there were other games where there was no performance increase whatsoever, maybe even a frame, and it even lost in one or two benchmarks. So does the extra, does the extra clock speeds, does the extra memory speed really make a difference for this card over the 285? If you're purchasing this card for the first time, if you haven't upgraded your card for a long time, I would definitely say to go ahead with it because it's a nice mainstream card. It's very, very sleek looking. It does perform well. You're going to be able to play any of your 19 by 10 games with nice detail in them and get good frame rates. But if you're someone who has purchased a 285 and you're thinking of upgrading, I don't see a reason to do it. And this is not Power Color's fault, this is the hand that they're dealt with. Power Color went a long way putting their own power supply on it, putting you know nice caps on it, etc. So they did a good job with the design of the board. They did a good job by putting the back plate on it. So you can't fault Power Color for anything for that. They actually took with the hand that they were dealt with and made it better. So let's go ahead and give this a gold award based on the changes that Power Color made. I want to say thank you to everybody for watching this video. Make sure you keep, stay tuned to High Tech Legion. Follow us on Twitter and Facebook. Make sure you subscribe to this channel. Stay thirsty, my friends. I'll see you the next time.